if you want to read all the rows or all the columns from an excel file at the same time so if you want to write a small code for it we can write it like this that will add a for loop for i in if we wanted the number of rows or number of columns on the basis of which we have to iterate our code that we have to read this file on this base we want to read all the columns or we want to read on the basis of all the rows. We will make our loop go till its range. Range sheet dot n rows. Sheet dot n rows will give us the number of total rows. This is working as an integer. Now in it, the data that is in the sheet, call it a variable data. What work it will actually do is the value of data that is in sheet, it will return as the value of cell. Now here we are iterating the value of cell by rows. So our row will be given an increment every time and our column will always remain 0. If I print it, it will print all the value too. If I print what is coming in data, so it will. It has all the files, read all the rows and files and printed all the reads. Okay, if I copy all the data, I copied all the data and saved it in three columns. Now, I want to read my program on the basis of columns. What output will it give? Cheat object has no attribute column. It has whatever was stored at zero column, it has returned it back. Now, here the condition will change. At zero column, we need the value of i column. Our column will change every time. So, what it will do is we have three columns. At zero rows of all three columns, the same values is in its second and the same value is available in the third. If I increment the number, what output will it give? It has all three columns. The column that will be executed first, it took the value of the first column. Second time of second row's first column. Third, it kept reading the value of third row's first column simultaneously. Here it is now. The thing we saw was that XLRD, which is a built-in module, through it, how we can read Excel files. How we can get values of their cells. How to handle sheets. If I have the number of sheets more than one, so for it, I start the index of sheet from 0, 1, 2, 3. Whichever indices sheet I want to access, I can access that sheet.